tips and real life business stories. Every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Tune in each week as Jane connects with local legends of Dorset in season two, bringing you the most up-to-date and easy to implement business tips in the health and wellness industry. Alas, we dive deep into therapies, courses, retreats, and real life business stories happening locally. Each session includes a guided meditation hosted by Jane or one of her special guests. Hello, and welcome to the Harmony Business Podcast, where spiritual businesses meet success. Today, we are are exploring how on earth hats can be spiritually enhanced. So we are talking to Cheryl Warburton of CW Hats and Accessories and they're in the heart of Dorchester in Dorset. Welcome. Hi. Hello, so lovely to have you on the show. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, so I went into millinery about seven years ago. I was, I had a craft shop where I rented out shelf space and people kept coming in and saying, do you make fascinators? So I thought, how hard can it be for you YouTube videos later? And then I, we went into lockdown and I did some online courses with some expert milliners. And mm-hmm. then I, I opened my own hat shop after the first lockdown. Yeah. And we I now actually train how to make hats as well as teaching. Wow. Uh, amazing. So this has been a real uh, journey. Were you you were interested in crafting before? Were you interested in hats and sort of that kind of design? I was interested in design. When I when I was when I went to college, I wanted to be a fashion designer. But unfortunately, being stupid and young, by the time I finished my college GCSEs, I then uh, wanted to go and earn some money. So I didn't actually pursue it until I was in my late 40s. So, yeah. Well, but I've always. Yeah. The thing I love about this show is that we've all got a bit similar stories. So, yeah, I. I didn't find what I really wanted to do and what I really loved to do until really late, mid to late thirties, that kind of thing. So yeah, yeah, we all, we all have our little magical mystery tours of life, don't we? And then I've been, I've been sitting in circle for quite a while and I had, I had two readings, two years apart and they both told me to make, to mix my business with, my spiritualism yes so to start with I was doing design by meditation and that sort of flop and then this time I got told I you need to mix your spiritual spiritualism with your hats so that's how spiritual hats came around amazing so and how does it work because I have bought candles or jewelry with infused with reiki energy and things like that these are kind of spiritual pieces of artwork where the artist goes into meditation and and then you know <coughs> channels her art so how do you how do you do it so basically what i do is i get crystals and i use spiritual symbols and things like that i spoke that so spiritual symbols onto hats and of course the crystals have healing powers Yes. So, I mean, it's not tried and tested that, you know, having a spiritual hat will give you healing. But, you know, if you put it in the moonlight, obviously it charges the crystals. So, in theory, it should do. But they look very decorative. I also use peacock feathers and tarot cards and and things like that. I saw one of your hats with the tarot cards on the side. I thought that was so cool. Yeah. So, So, yeah. So and so do, how, you, do you so do you sit in circle when the do. ideas come to you or is it a practice you do on your own within your business or a little bit both it's a practice I do on my own in, within my business I do sit in circle I'm just about to take my Reiki one yeah uh, this month so and I'm developing my clairvoyant side I'm I can do call it mediumship anyway you know psychic 
I yeah. can do planning in my head um, but I wanted to get into the clairvoyant side of things as well yeah and the healing side of things so so yeah That's and I did it, I did a course with our local church on crystals and how to cleanse yourself with crystals and things like that so yeah and then on all of my hats I put what the healing properties are of each of the crystals so fantastic I was going to say the crystals that you use do they do they get channeled to you are you told to use specific ones on a hat and how to sew them on and what patterns to use how does it work I tend to use my intuition and I look at the colours and the colour of the hats and, you know, which which colours go yes. best with each hat. I mean, I've got a black one with, I don't know if you've seen it, with purple rose and, and feathers and it's got amethyst all the way around the headband. Oh, that's going to be powerful. And I'm thinking as well, because they're hats, you're right <coughs> on that crown chakra and near the third eye as well, aren't yes. you? Yeah. So, I mean, that's going to be really powerful. Hopefully. <laughs> yes. And a lot of your hats, they, when people buy them, where are they, where are they taking them? Are they taking them to the races, to weddings, or is it a bit of a combination? I don't think they take them to the races or weddings as such yet, but I can obviously make hats for races and for weddings with crystals on if requested mm -hmm. but I think most of them buy them for their own personal use maybe they go to an event like Bridport Hat Festival or oh, didn't even know there was one yeah yeah there's oh. a hat festival unfortunately I'm not attending this year because I'm in Verwood selling my hats at an event over there at Memorial Hall and that's actually, that's the first Saturday of September. But yeah, they have a big hat competition and people make or decorate their own hats and, and all sorts of report hat festival. It's oh, really that's good. that's fabulous. Yeah. So where, tell us a little bit more about where people can find you. Um, and can they, can they kind of co-create with you and get a, a, unique hat for them yes. and, and their needs yeah their energy yeah definitely I mean I make bespoke hats we can look at the style yeah the shape of the person's face the style of the hat um, we can add whatever crystals that they resonate with and I'm based in Dorchester I'm online I can have phone calls from anybody that's not a problem you can call me up and say, right, can I book an appointment to come and see you? And uh, I've got a little consultation room where we can sit down and decide on what sort of hat they like. Oh, well, that sounds fab. Yeah. And what is, obviously, we've got a lot of business owners listening yeah. to the podcast. So what's your best bit of business idea? Well, because I teach hats, a lot of people concentrate on making the hats what they don't concentrate on is the actual business side of marketing your hats getting them out there attending fairs and things and having flyers getting an email list things like that so yeah. I mean you know a lot of spiritual you know they're like yeah I want to do mediumship or healing or whatever but you're not going to get seen and you're not going to get your clients unless you get out there mm. and promote yourself and you know fairs are a great way of doing that but yeah my my advice is to concentrate on the business side as well as your spiritualist you know business but concentrate on the business side and, and the marketing and getting yourself out there because you're not going to be successful unless you get the clients through absolutely 100 percent. somebody told me that you should spend 80% of your time doing things that bring the money in. So that's yeah. not necessarily actually making like the hats or, Absolutely. you know, yeah, it is the marketing, the building that email list. And it's really, how, how do you build your email list? Is it through the fairs and things like that? Yeah, I can, I do it through the fairs. I mean, there's several different ways of building your email list. Yeah, you know, if if you did like a hat giveaway, 
for example mm-hmm. a bit a bit like a raffle but with no money involved uh, but yes. you collect their email address and then one person wins at the end of it yes that's and a that really way, good way that way yeah. you collect their email address that way I also do markets as well so you know I've had flyers that I hand out on markets because I sell everyday hats as well. So yeah, I ha- I do markets as well. And yeah, the, I mean, the best way is, yeah, doing something at a spiritual fair and collecting people's email addresses and getting them following you on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely. Having that community behind you online and offline, I think is yeah. really important now. Absolutely. Because obviously through the kind of lockdown periods, everybody <laughs> went online, but I've found, especially the last 12 months, people don't want to be stuck online. They want to be in front of you. They want to be at a workshop. They want to be at an event, don't they? So it's really important to be collecting those email addresses at your events. Yeah, because then you use your email addresses to say, right, I'm going to be here. Yeah. On such a date, come and join me. Come and have a look. We've got this, that and everything else going on as well. And then that way people will come and see you as well as, you know, it's a way of reaching them to yeah. tell you so you can tell them where you are and what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. People, people, people buy from people. Yes. You know, if you don't communicate with your audience, then you're not going to end up keeping them. Yeah. And it's good to get your voice over your opinions and then yeah they really know who you are don't they absolutely well, yeah. that's what social media is great for because you can put personal posts up there so people get to know like and trust you and then they end up buying from you yay, yay. fantastic <laughs> if if I was to find you on social media and I was like oh I fancy one of these hats what would it look like? What would that client journey look like? So you would phone me up, book an appointment. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I've got a website where my spiritual hats are, as well as all the other hats that I do, that you can take a look through and get ideas on what sort of shapes you want. Then you come in, we would try different hats on and see what suits you. As I said, obviously, I look at the shape of your face because I get an awful lot of people coming up and going, yeah, but hats don't suit me because maybe they've got a square jaw. But if they Mm -hmm. wore something that was slanted or something that was rounded, then it would soften the jawline. Ah. See? Yeah. And then we would go through and look at different styles of hats and then we'd look at the, I call them the trimmings. So Mm -hmm. crystals, feathers, flowers, and talk about what what they'd like adorning their hat fantastic and when you've used oracle cards or tarot cards on the hat mm-hmm. i just came to mind like what happens if it rains are they have they got like a plastic coating on them or anything or they haven't no and for yeah. you know if it rains if it rains then the cards are paper they are going to get wet so best not to wear out or take an umbrella yes and crystals it does not matter and can you unless um, there's salt oh yes (laughs) I've got this like sacred geometry yeah so can you could do you sew things like that those kinds of yeah yeah on hats yeah I can sew anything you want on a hat that'd be so cool fantastic do you have any other offers or top tips for our audience just keep with your spiritualism and trust your intuition. Absolutely. That's how I work, you know, and always be open to, to opportunities. And go and test them out. And if they don't work, it's a learning experience. If they do work, great, keep doing it. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. I think when you start bringing spirit into your business and that having that conversation on you know what's what's my next avenue what's the best plan for me for the business for the client you can 
just some magical things start to happen, don't they? Okay, when you yeah. bring spirituality into, I, mean, I, the I, I, can, I can I can give you an example. I, I thought, right, I joined a load of spiritual sites, advertising mm-hmm. sites, and things like that, and I posted all my hats on the site with the link. And next minute, I've got a lady contacting me. Do you want to do this spiritualist fair? You know, I mean, it was yeah. an opportunity. So I thought, yeah, let's go and do it and see how we go. The other thing I'm trying to do is get on Glastonbury Market. Oh, yeah, that would be very good. It would be very good, but there's a very long waiting list. Yeah. And as you know, Glastonbury Fair's on at the moment. So everything seems to have stopped with regards to communication. So. Uh-huh still waiting for them to to come back to me but I uh, something that might be good as well we, we could be getting your hats into various shops absolutely in Glastonbury yeah, yeah. you've really got to we've got to think outside the box a little bit don't we with yeah. our mm-hmm. business yeah um I've been doing like a free journey recently called the sacred rituals journey yeah and obviously I've advertised it myself. I've used my my various groups and things like that. But then I also reached out to about uh, five or six different people to ask them to share. Um, yeah. And it's about that community, isn't it? Um, and kind of building out from that and building relationships with other people. Yeah. And you, not just that, your your profile page, if you ask people to share something that you're doing on your profile page that's massive yeah um most people have got 100 maybe 200 friends on their facebook and you think about how many friends they've all got Mm. you know so that's that that goes huge and so many people see it without having to pay a penny yes there is in fact i don't think i've done any paid marketing for gosh a long time I did it once and I thought you know what I think I can do exactly the same organically and although sometimes the algorithms change especially recently because they know so many of us are just doing it organically yeah um they're really trying to put uh the dampeners on, on on it so you do pay especially with them Instagram has changed recently so I've yeah. got virtually no no range there anymore but but then Facebook, guess... Facebook advertising isn't too bad you know you can pay a pound or two pound a day yeah. and still get out there yes definitely. and it will it will be focused on your ideal clients yeah because of the way the algorithm is set up you pick what what hobbies people have and things like that it definitely definitely does work and even if you only do that for a week, if you get, you know, 20, 30 people on your email list, bonus. It's worth it. They're all isn't your it? ideal client. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So can you tell the audience how they can find you? You can find me on Facebook under CW Hats and Accessories. I'm also on Instagram. You can also, I have a website. Can we put the um, website link up? Yep, everything will be above, below. Yep. And my phone number is 07813 056 366. You can always give me a call and we can book an appointment if you're interested in having a bespoke hat. Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for this episode. Thank you. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Please contact Cheryl. Go search for her on social channels. And obviously above below, we'll have all the links for you. CW hats and accessories. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe to our podcast um, and leave us a re- review. Your feedback helps us to bring more amazing guests on um, and to continue sharing spiritual business connected content that will support your journey towards a harmonious and successful business Um, and remember at the Harmony Business Academy we're here to help you divinely design and structure your business creating seamless automations and funnels to ensure your success so for more information 
check out my links above or below Harmony Business Academy. Um, until next time, keep embracing the magic within you and continue to create and maintain your beautiful and soulful business. The Harmony Business Podcast, creating harmony within your business with easy to implement tips and real life business stories every Wednesday at 11am.